All right, so gonna be revising the tail lights. So first things first, I gotta tear down the panel. So I've already gotten it off. Now we need to just go ahead and uh, get these things pulled off. So let's do that. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm prepping these. Um, so, this is like a 240 millimeter, I believe, uh, Halo. Unfortunately, I had white in the previous uh, set of taillights I had, but it's just what I had. Um, so, those go inside of this little bezel here. It is a very snug fit. So, that gets put down in those. And then I have to drill a hole in these. So I have another one of these test prints. I put that on. It's already got a hole. I drill through there. And then I just need to oblong it enough to be able to get this through it. And then what I do is, so this lens goes in here with the halo inside of there. And then this gets sandwiched on top of here. So let's go ahead and uh, get this assembled. Well, it was a really tight fit to get that ring in there, so I had to like really press it in with a screwdriver, but then my dumbass didn't pay attention when I put it in. Um, there is some flaws from uh, the resin printer, so there's like these little bumps and shit, so I want those at the top because then you won't see them. You guys wouldn't even know if I wouldn't even tell it, but I don't hide my shit, so. But yeah, so there's bumps there, and then there's also some on the outer part. I probably could have sanded them, but... Uh, we want minimal effort just because these could get really fucked up or they just won't work they could break we don't know how this resin is going to hold up in like sunlight and all that stuff so this is kind of just a, a learning process um and then if they work really good then we'll come back and we'll make v3 again but uh yeah there it is uh this is the outer part so then you put you just take some LEDs like this. Um, probably this style more likely because this is what I use. And then, so these will go in there. Can't do this one handed. So this goes down in there. And so basically these will fit one LED. And then you put these backing plates on. These go on like that. Put the LED sandwiched in between there, and then they're gonna be notched to come out. So like right here, you have your infinity stuff, and then this would be like your uh, bright churn. So these two halos, so the halos will be wired together for bright churn for one side, and then all of the uh, infinity lights, aka the running lights, those will be wired just to running lights. It'll be one wire that controls all four of them. Um, it's pretty much same as usual or before, but instead of there being a second row of LEDs that acts as the break and turn signal, now it is halos. So um, that should hopefully make visibility much better. These are definitely a lot brighter. So, but uh, yeah, so we'll uh, got to let the silicone dry and then I'm just siliconing these in place. I have to put silicone all the way around because these light up real good so they like light up behind it and we don't want light getting through so we just had to silicone the shit out of it but uh yeah so we'll get this or we'll let these dry and we'll be back so we can silicone them into that side and then uh go from there so let's do that all right so we're gonna have to solder on some new wires so i'm gonna go ahead and get those soldered on to uh that wire so we'll get that stuff soldered in and we'll get these done and then we'll do these ones should be easy that's literally 12 volts and she's done for the running lights 
and then these ones are your turn signal but they also got to get wired in with the five volts and the controller and all that good stuff so yeah let's uh get to it correction these are the running lights these are the brake churn my bad All right, I tried really hard. It still looks like mom's spaghetti, so that kind of sucks. But it's there, and I had actually my 12 volt to 5 volt actually shit the bed. Luckily, I caught it because uh, my LEDs were not acting right. So I swapped them out or swapped this out, and it worked good. But yeah, that could have ended back because I could have fried all of them and then have to solder all of them again. That would suck. But Plus the top of that replacing the, and the LEDs are not the cheapest things either, so. But yeah, so, it's together, let's uh, get it put in, so, let's do that. I guess I can explain a little bit. So, it's three wires on the LEDs, like so. It is not fresh in my mind, I would suggest that if you are actually watching this and you want to see maybe a little bit more, I guess I don't remember how much I actually showed in that one, but you have to solder on two of these and then yeah so they're directional you can cut on any one of those and then you just have to solder onto those um yeah you want to tin the wire and then tin that and then you can solder them together um i'm not very good at this informative crap um and then i'm just using a basic controller especially because uh, this stuff is not fresh in my mind. I did this research uh, last year or so when I redid this. So basically all I'm doing is just rewiring what I had and redoing it. So we end up with a different situation. So, And then we just have 12 volts for this blinker, 12 volts for that blinker, and brake for both. Um, and then obviously we have the controller. I know I explained absolutely nothing there. Um, I guess I'll try and find some links for wiring these things. And put them in the description for like maybe some pictures or something. Or I'll put them up on the screen. Uh, so hopefully I can try and be informative to you guys. I know I'm not, I'm not the best teacher with this type of stuff. But I know I got asked a lot of questions when I made these taillights. Everybody wanted me to make a set for them. Or how did I wire it. Stuff like that. So proof that I'm not the best teacher. So, But yeah. So let's get this uh, mounted up. I'd be lying if this was not pain in the ass. I fried my flasher and I fried... Get a new controller for them, and hopefully that's all it is. Uh, the LEDs don't seem to be dead dead, so hopefully that's fine. Oh yeah, we got break and turn. Just gotta replace some stuff now. 